is finishing off the 272 application. As you see, it's quite dense, but we're then going to use the 170, which I've done over here and over here. So let's get some of that in there now. Now I'll just do this section here because that's going to all be the same. You've got an idea. Now you see that what I've done is I've just put a few little tree trunks in there. And what I did, I used very, very carefully, I used the 175 for this. Do it quite faint. We can put more on later on, but at the moment that will do. Now, once you get that quite well established, you've got the two tone effect there of the colour underneath, which is the earthy green, and the very light green 170 on there. You see how that now. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? Let's just move on because now what we've got to do is to use the 174. Now I've used 174 here. We want it on the skyline because obviously that's where we're going to be going to come in against the clouds. That's very nice. Okay. Now we don't want it all over. The idea is to try to create some sort of... Let me just show you what I've done down here. You see that? Now, we obviously the forward trees are uh, the ones that are going to be the strongest, but these at the back look quite good. And what we do is put a little bit... We don't put it all over, like just as we did here. We, we just go in spots to create the depth. Anyway, now I should do that. I'll do it around here because this is all the same kind of idea. Put a little bit on here. Because it's going to be darker in here, we're going, to, we're going to need it to be a little stronger because we're looking through the trees at the clouds behind it. Okay, now that's what I should be doing all over. I'm also going to put a little bit of 168 in there as well. Now I'm doing it after the 174. That's great. Now that, that's probably going to, might well be enough. I don't know whether I'm going to need any more. I don't want to make it as dark as this. That's the thing I don't want to do. Maybe I can just put a little, little bit more. Just means to press just a little harder there. You get the impression that you're looking through, and as I said, I can put a little bit more depth on those tree trunks if I need to later on. But I think I'm going to leave it for the moment. All right. So I'm going to finish off this whole area just as I've done that there, and then come back again, and then I'll show you how we can just put the finishing touches to that, and then add a few more colours to this. And I'm just on the tail end of this now. And you can see now the effects. I've put more of this on than I thought I was going to because you'll see in a minute that I've used the 168 very successfully. Even though I've done lots and lots of trees in the past, you still have to think about it. You can't just magic them. They've got to be thought about. You've got to decide at every split second that I'm doing a twiddle. Um, what is my intention? And every now and again I put a little bit of pressure like I did there, you see, and it makes it just a little bit darker. But look at the difference over here to here. This is where I've experimented with the other trees and it looks good now. I've got those there, yeah, those um, I'm gonna put a little bit of depth in here as well because we're going to be wanting so pressure a little bit more pressure we're going to be wanting to build up this area just a little bit here i've already gone down on some of these bushes 
here. A lot of them, just a few, just to put a little bit of extra, that's nice, weight in. I've got a break in the tree here that I've got to do something with. Now what I'm doing, I'm going to sharpen my, you need to, now let me just show you this, um, you need this point of this 175, like a little needle. I'll show you. I'll put it in. I've got a lot of them. There we have to, let me just you can see that it's uh, focusing is not as good as it could be because I'm a little bit closer than I should be. But I wanted to show you that we can get it really fine that point. There we are, that's great. That's like a little needle at the end. And that means that we can go in here with a little very see that look at that. Twist even now I'm twisting the pencil, I'm not allowing it to that's nice, I like that. I like that better than that now. So we can put a few more in here, that's right, and then continue. That's good. That's it. All I need. I just need to deepen the area. It's a long way in the distance, so we really don't have to be ultra, ultra fussy here. That's more or less got all the. I want it now. We're going to go back in with some more colours. Now, one, six, eight. The one, six, eight go. Well, ideally, what I'm doing is picking up some of the, the colour that, uh, colour of the paper. You can see that probably every now and again. You can see it as close as I'm seeing it, and closer, in fact, on the screen. That's good. Now this colour, this is the, the colour that's going to make the difference. This is 104, and I've explained this before to you. I have to do it again. This can give you, again, a little bit of extra light from the light side of the foliage that we have here. Good. Then we're going to have to, much as I didn't really want to do it, I'm going to have to use the, the 175 here to, because I haven't got a, we haven't really got a very dark green in our flavour pencils, which is a shame really. We have to make do with the stronger colours, but never mind. Now that's quite nice. What we're going to do now is to use our lovely sharp 175 to just pick out a few individual trees that's in there like that and in there be a little bit darker in here because we've got shadow quite a lot of shadow in fact I'll put some in here now I've got that 175 you see that makes a difference it pushes it back into the into the and here you want to start from from a point like from from here, for instance, and then just separate it out. Anyway, you don't want to see me do all of that, but you can see I've done enough there to show you that that's how we go about it, and we can get that lovely, lovely effect. And I should continue that, and I'll let you have a look at that when it's all done. Really. Truly, that's not far off being complete. Now, you're looking at it close up, but when I pull away, it's going to be really good. Uh, the thing that we've got to do now is to add some colour. You know me and colour, I don't like all green. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use some, you can use some ochre. We can use ochre, which is 183, or we can use a better colour than that would be uh, one. A2. It's a little stronger and that can be just filtered in amongst. We don't have to be really fussy about where you put it as long as we put it in. I think you can see, I hope you can see that on the screen how much of an influence that's coming. Now another colour that I use 
quite a lot when I'm doing this kind of thing, is, is a 283. Let me show you how that will work. Here we are, it's a 283. A 283 is a richer colour, and, and you can see immediately I do that. The tones just adds again a little bit of extra extra tongue to it. I think it looks really pretty. Anyway, I'll I'll add that here and there throughout the, the tree, and then we'll then put a final colour of 104, putting the the lighter bits, and this time you can be a little bit more precise with it. I'll just do a few to show you what I mean. You see how that's now giving you some foliage. The way of deer probably is sharpen this up a bit when you do that, but that's now that is looking stunning. That's absolutely fine. So there we are, we've got our back trees. Now I'll finish this and you can have a look at it, and then we're going to move on. And I think I'm going to actually start left to right, and I'm going to start over here, way over here with the church.